All right, we're back. Today we're going to face the imposter Steep Squatch once more. This time as a stealth heavy gunner using a flamer. I'll be using this furious flamer that cost me a lot of legendary cores to craft. Hopefully, the damage increase with each hit will be worth it against the imposter. My perk loadout is typical stealth heavy gunner with some specific ones added. Max time can feed to double the duration of psycho buff I'll be using. Max out cola nut to triple the effect of the nuka cola quantum I'll be using for AP and HP regen. Max out party girl to triple the effect of vodka to max out my HP even more. Max out first aid to boost health regen when using stim packs. And one rank of born survivor for the auto heal when my health gets too low. As for consumables, I'll be using pumpkin pie for max HP, and that gets doubled by the uh, herbivore mutation. And this lasts uh, one hour, so I can uh, just uh, grab it anytime, like right now. For aid, I'm going to use the bubblehead energy weapon gives me 20% to energy gun damage so that'll help again with uh, my flamer. Take that, that lasts an hour. I can take some lunch boxes. Okay, noise make gives me damage against robots, that'll help. Lasts an hour, so that's good as well. Makes for carry weight. Right. And I get a well rested bonus for extra HP. There's my max HP from the pumpkin pie. What else can I get? Okay, I can take a little love from the team. Am I in a team? No, let's get into a team. Yeah. All right, then take live and love. Cuisine. Okay, so we have live and love gives me match HP. One on a team, so I get more HP, which is what I want. The other thing I need to do is I need to eat. Alright, because that also gives me a well-fed bonus, and I get 35 HP from being well fully fed. And to keep that going, I'm going to go with a perfect bubble gum. And now my uh, thirst and hunger will last 60 minutes, so I'll be full health for at least 60 minutes. Okay. The other consumables I'm going to have are going to be, of course, the Super Stim Packs for health. Canned coffee if I want to do uh, AP regen faster. Psycho Buff. Psycho Buff gives me match 6P, but it only lasts uh, 3 minutes. But it's actually going to last around 5 minutes because of the perks I have. And I have Vodka. That's going to give me uh, 75 HP. Again, it's going to be for around uh, uh, 3 minutes, I believe. I'll take that when I'm ready to fight. Huh? And I have Nuka Cola Quantum. And that's going to give me HP and AP boost. Again, it's tripled, so I get uh, quite a lot there. And I'll take those again when I'm starting to fight. All right. So let's uh, go start it and uh, see how we fare. I've already got rid of the ghouls here. Okay. Alright, we 
Listen up, agents. If you're hearing this, that means I left unfinished business for you. That don't sit well with me. You've just initiated the recall process for a rogue Assaultron. A tough one. This thing's got a shield so strong, hardly anything will dent it. But I have just the solution for that. There are three pylons set up around the area. Starting one of these up makes you a conduit. Long story short, that means you're full of juice. Juice that pumps from you right into that robot shield. You'll need all three active to down it. Good luck. Hope you fare better than I did. Okay, so let's start it. And we've got about a minute to wait. The robots are coming. And for 30 seconds, and then Sheep Squatch will be coming as well. Okay, let's take that, 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 go. Okay, so now we do the dance. That was very quick. Kaboom. Come on, kaboom. There we go. Okay. So that's pretty effective. Mascot outfit. Last time I got the mascot head, so that's fine. Okay, cool. Laser pistol. Nothing much. Too bad. Okay. So what do I get? Scraps, pistol, mascot outfit, treasury notes. Alright, well there we go. Got us that. We managed to do the uh, event. Took uh, very few uh, seconds or minutes. All right, so that was uh, pretty, I guess, uneventful in that uh, it didn't take long. Probably took longer for me to describe what I was using, but obviously it shows you that it helps. So the only thing is with this event is that it's very expensive for the key card that you have to get. It's over 2,000 uh, caps to get that, plus all the ingredients that you need. So. Uh, 
It's not something you want to be doing every five minutes. Anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed this one. So until the next one, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.